Pardon me. Would you have any gray poupon? Well, you can do school or you can do drugs, but you really can't do both. Read Dianetics by L. Ron Hubbard, the owner's manual for the human mind. My mom's on about giants right now. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Tim My mom. The and if once. and when I call it a conspiracy theory, she goes, "Alex, it's not a conspiracy. They were real." <laughs> and I say, "Mom, I'm like the definition of a conspiracy. Even if they were real and it's being hidden from the world, that makes it a conspiracy." She. Did, but she knows what you mean. She knows she what goes, I mean. She doesn't the, even the negative want connotations. To, what exactly. I yeah. She doesn't like that because yeah. that's how real it is. Yeah, Alex. No, it's not my whole giant <laughs> thing. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> they were real. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. Thank you. Like the I mean, ones it's in not. California, it's her thing. <laughs> those giants, like the ones in California, like on, on that island. She thinks that all over the. I think she's one of those people who thinks that like a lot of the big mountains and rock formations are actual like dis- giants on their like side, petrified oh. giants. They're like oh. Moana. I, like, like yeah, like, I'm I, I'm not clear on it, but I that's what I think she. I saw I saw a, a picture uh, very recently of like a mountain ridge that looked like it had like vertebrae along the top, like very no no ambiguity to it. It was definitely like a spine on the, across the top of a mountain, and there was a quick second where I didn't realize it was fake, and I went obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, hold on a second. No, duh. <laughs> This might not even a. It's probably not even a good fake. <laughs> but they had me for that. There's, there's I hate obviously. It when they get you. There's a part of my heart that demands for that to right. be true. <laughs> and I every day I'm forced to live in a world where it's not. Ah, uh, well, talk to my mom. She might get yeah, you there. What if it is though? But what if it is? Maybe, maybe cryptids. I might get into cryptids. I get into cryptids. I think they're. I think they're real. You think they're real? I think cryptids are real. What are cryptids? Like, um. I guess like Bigfoot would be a cryptid, wouldn't he? Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. Jersey Devil, yeah. Devil. Yetis and stuff. Yeah, spooky animals. Yeah. I like that. Like in the woods, like skinwalkers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. The, yeah, all of it. Um, give me no, all no. of it. No, do the African ones count? Where it's like a tribal thing, but don't go near it because it's like truly yeah a demon yeah. or something. That's like a cryptid for sure. That's fun. Yes, yeah, that sounds like something you'd find in like a uh, locked puzzle. Do you know about Squonk? The cryptid squonk. What's up with squonk? It's a Pennsylvania cryptid. No, really? <laughs> yeah, it's like just like a. You think he's nearby? Yeah. Squonk does Maybe, sound like yeah. something Pennsylvania teens would say yeah, instead right. of cool. Squonk. <laughs> it's like a. It's like this like fat like little guy, and he okay. walks around and he's like crying all the time. Dude, look him up. Like a fucking a bummer. bummer look, dude. Up, look, up, yeah, dude. look up squonk. I'm actually good. <laughs> I'm not trying to hang out with squonk. <laughs> anything to not hang out with squonk. I'm trying I'm to make blood <laughs> rotation squonk. If anything, let's just figure out where he is so we can avoid him. Squonk. Squonk. How do you spell squonk? U O N K. Oh, get this guy out of here. No, 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 no. No, thanks, man. <laughs> you fucking loser. <laughs> Damn. He looks like an uncirc penis. Yeah, we would bully him so hard, the dude. hell? Oh, oh, he pissed himself or is those tears? That's tears. He's standing He cried tears. a puddle around yeah, his feet. Yeah, he's so sad. Uh, we would no, him I would running, turn him dude. around, dude. Fuck, you think, yeah. 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 I'd, I'd you turn around and certain this, whatever this tube is coming <laughs> off of his ass. I would convince him to oh, kill God. himself. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He just needs a little TLC. I would force him to cross the Highway at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it, the quivering lip. Because <laughs> you guys are bullying him. Ew. Look at it, little pig. No, I would make him lock himself <laughs> in a garage <laughs> and, and keep the car turned on. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to pistol whip him on sight. Get out of my face. Oh, he looks no. like Alf right there. Like <laughs> Fucking squonk. Here's a. Here, I, let me let me further ruin your day. I don't I don't know how this ends up on in front of me, but this is for you guys. Oh boy. No. Mm-hmm. What do you think of that? Isn't this so cool that this guy was born without arms or lost them in a tragic Oh he uh, doesn't have factory arms. accident? Did you see how Toe number two was able to cross over the big toe. Yeah, to- <laughs> I think everyone's feet are capable of doing that. We just haven't had to learn how to do the it. The training. Yeah, nobody needs to do that. I don't believe that. I think my brain would explode if I tried to make my foot do that uh-huh. right now. I don't. Well, I, I mean, would feel it in the back of my head, dude. <laughs> 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 No way. Yeah, there's thing I can't even like control my fingers individually. <laughs> no but way. But then I was thinking more about being the lady <laughs> who's under the feet right now. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> she's she's honestly the wokest person in the history of the world. I don't know what to say. 
Yeah. N- not only will I take your service, I'll be in the video. <laughs> uh, that has to be like his like sister or something. No way. Yeah. Do you think that's a customer? I think this is what a does sub- the health board think of this? this Danny, is, can you weigh in on this? This is a sub and dom situation, I think. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, I think he's I think he's dominating her. <laughs> Get on the table. <laughs> and he's he's texting her while she's at work wearing like vibrating panties and he's saying, We're doing the foot thing tonight. Yeah. She's like, fuck, man. Also, like, is it just applying lipstick? Is he he's doing a lip stain? This doesn't seem like it should be the process. Obviously, the foot cleaning I like. Th- yeah, this all seems like stuff this woman could be doing in like the, in the mirror. visor mirror in her car while she's this driving. Is, yeah. That's a tattoo. <laughs> this is not above board. Yeah. yeah. No. There's no way any health board in America is okay with this. What if he washed his feet first? What if he <laughs> scrubbed <laughs> in? Yeah, I guess tattoo ah, artists wear you, you gloves. You gotta take a bloodborne pathogen certificate where they would tell you all of this is very wrong. Damn, this is literally how you get hand, foot, and mouth disease. I like the keep dreaming <laughs> shirt, by the way. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, she's asleep right now. Because I would also have to go somewhere else mentally while this guy put his piggies on my lips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come to think of it, there, I, I, and like I'm impressed by it and everything, but there's very few things that I find Damn. him fit to do in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make my food. You can't be my nurse. And you're not going to administer a fucking injection to me or something like. You can't even be my Uber driver. <laughs> Did he need to pour this like with his feet <laughs> draped over <Yeah>. tits? <laughs> and this little piggy can go into your mouth, maybe. Maybe. Dude, no, okay. you need to become an artist. You need to sit there with a paintbrush between your t- your little toes and do the thing. Isn't that like how uh, Frida Kahlo painted? Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm just thinking I'm just thinking it's probably should be a wrap on this whole thing. Yeah, no, that that's mm-hmm. gotta stop. I mean What hey, is that powder? Yeah. Hey Tim. Yo. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Give our guests a proper intro. My friends, welcome back to Tim Butterley's show. Today, Noah and I would like to introduce our, our guest, our most esteemed guest. I want you to guys. This is a person who I think couldn't be replicated if they gave you a million years to try. You know her as one of the producers for Legion of Skanks podcast. I know her as possibly my best friend in the entire universe. If wherever you are right now, I want you to start fucking honking the horn in your car. This is a gatherer of the highest levels. I want you to start fucking oh. screaming in the office right now for our guest, the motherfucking Alex ah. Scarlato! Ah. Good to be Harrington! Dude, I am to be here Let's i'm go. pleased as punch on. my heart rate is up i know i that's what i've really been trying to do if i could i figure if i could start to get, get a hold of people's nervous systems i could probably do whatever i want in the entire world yeah you nailed it we thank are you. best friends there's <laughs> rules yes <laughs> thank you for having me thank you for being here i i uh look the assignment today is for us to have a very fun time and i listen it, it, it's not even it, it, the challenge i think is behind us i'm locked in dude what I what I want to do today is um, I've been exploring a, a thought path recently, and I had a realization that I have ten years until I hit the phase of my life that my dad was in when he got really into American Chopper. Nice. And call it a midlife crisis. I think he never had the he could never afford a midlife crisis, but like it became his main thing. And I would say, as far as like weird shit your dad gets into goes. Not the worst. Not no. the worst no. by a long shot. Definitely no. Not. You know, it was cool. It was cool, especially when the show got into reruns. And so all day I was just like walking by the TV and I'd see Custom Chopper and I'd be like, sick. Hope they meet the deadline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not the worst thing. And um, well, I mean, hold on. Firstly, are you, you say you have 10 years. Probably. Do you have an idea of what direction you're going yeah. in? Or do you think this episode is going to like help you? I do that out well and you know maybe this is all self-indulgent but I do think that that the kind of like the main that's the main uh, arc that I'm on right now is figuring out what that's going to be Uh, it's gonna be a challenge for me specifically I think by the way every every man needs to examine this thought at some point it's coming I think I've I've done a lot of stuff I've 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 had a lot of hobbies I've done motorcycle repair I've done fucking too much video games. I've done. You got the guitar thing going on. Yeah, music. Yeah, I, like I, I honestly, I have a rich, uh, crafted selection of shit to just be that guy with. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping the foundation is is built already. You just need to get. I need the spark. Yeah. I need the spark. I need to get hit with like the perfect commercial for a new TV show and just dedicate myself. <laughs> right. So, but here's the thing. I don't know if 
let, let's look at Paul Senior, right? I don't know if it was always going to be this way. My dad might be genetically just a Paul Senior, and I don't really talk about the guy much because I. The truth is, I think he's like my dad's. I think might be the nicest, coolest guy in the whole world. Hell yeah! <laughs> and I don't like uh, it. Like I kind of have to work to make fun of him. Um, I mostly just end up calling him fucking gay, and I say everything he does is for girls. But when Paul Senior hit the airwaves, my dad uh, was just starting to go gray. Or, by the way, white. And he saw the facial hair, and he didn't go full Paul Sr., but I'll just say I had my own Paul Sr. at home. Nice. <laughs> I have my own. Dude, he hit the fucking wraparounds hard. He hit the goatee hard as fuck. Never looked back. And obviously, you know, say what you will about the show. The bikes are shit. You know, the, the guys are all retarded. I'm pretty sure the long hair brother probably got into sex crimes. Like, whatever. Right. This was cool. You know, I maybe would have preferred like a um, like a deep sea fishing, like a like a deadliest catch mm -hmm. dad. But the, the question I'm begging people now is what weird shit. What, what did you watch your dad change into when you were a kid? I'm going to you know, I have to argue that I think that it, this has more personality than a deadliest catch dad. Because if you're okay. into American Chopper, you're going to start dressing the part a little bit and taking on a little bit more of the persona. And if you start doing that with Deadliest Catch, having not gone out there and faced the odds or whatever, yeah. you're an asshole. You're yeah. like, that's like stolen valor. Mm, you call yeah. people greeny. And <laughs> yeah. Like, you start wearing big raincoats outside, <laughs> like, big orange coats and big boots. Sorry, I just got my land legs back. It's like, you never went <laughs> yeah. to sea, dude. Like, you think you're reading like the wind or the stars or something? It's like, bro, you don't know shit about navigation navigating the fucking high seas yeah and i think something similar goes for ice road truckers it's the fact that yeah. these guys are not risking death that you can mimic it this is chill yeah this is this is cool it dad please yeah, yeah you had a long week dad why don't you fucking sit down yeah i think i think that well and then here's the thing is he could have i guess he could have easily gone sons of anarchy which yeah. that would have been a disaster and it's a close i mean it, they're cousins they're cousins but i think sons of anarchy goes into what you're talking That's about drama. where it's like you got to be about it like yeah. your dad has to start like fronting on people like <laughs> who he thinks looked at him weird you know what i mean yeah <laughs> this is my fucking sitgo dude i'm putting gas in my truck yeah you know, so this was this was harmless. Uh, I would say lawful good. This is for craftsmen. Mm -hmm. Sons of Anarchy is for want to be bad boys. So I so I don't know. I think I might get back into motorcycle repair. I think Japanese motorcycles, like eighties Japanese motorcycles, might be. My, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try the fit. See if you guys like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at I'm at your guys' fucking you know uh, mercy here. Because if I try anything and people go, this sucks. I either have to just go, okay, well, I'm going to go do that by myself forever, mm -hmm. or I have to, like, make changes. And so I put the I put the question on Patreon, and I, I said, please tell me about the embarrassing phase you watched your dad go through. And we got a lot of responses, and I wanted to, if it was okay with you guys, I wanted to dig into some of these today. Yeah. Let's do if it. If that's all right. Yeah. But before I do, Noah, did your dad go through any... Did you watch your dad get into anything? I watched my dad like get into country music, weirdly, Ooh. which I hated, dude. Now, like, out of the blue, dude. Yeah. One so, day he just started the ninety two five, which is on the radio. I said, "What is this?" So like the new country, new stuff, country, like stuff. tailgating in a parking yeah. lot. Yeah. And I'm kind of like, "What the hell? Like, why are you doing this?" Because my dad's like, my dad is like from Mayfair. He's just like uh, fucking does construction. He's just like, okay. I will say he's in a part of Philadelphia that got hit hard by new country. Yeah, I don't I know. know. I don't know if this is like this in other cities, but like a bunch of like the the local like neighborhood people, they got swept up in new country for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what it is. They they tailgate Luke Bryan shows. Yeah. You know, they fucking Toby Keith. Toby Keith was a big loss in that community. Oh, I'm sure, dude. I'm sure. So you watched your dad get into that? Yeah, he didn't like a. He wouldn't really go to like the shows, you know, because that's like a young man's game. It, I feel like, I feel like country music's a good way for an older man to get in touch with his emotions. Maybe. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Maybe. I think that might be a big part of it because it's even if 
like you're into the party style like country music but very quickly if you're listening to a particular artist it's going to sad songs really fast yeah, yeah. it's like i don't do feelings i'm not gay but that guy's pretty tough sounding and yeah. he felt something so yeah it's yeah, feelings yeah. by proxy yeah. yeah my dad would hit me with a man listen to this one crank it up a little bit Ooh. and it's a story it's a yeah. sad story from beginning to <laughs> my end son where, is gay and, uh, yeah. and, and no, i lost always, my that life you, and, that you vibe with this no yeah. it's always about like a, it's always about like a father and son type thing it's always you know i think it I your think, dad's cats in the cradling yeah, you like he's yeah. like having he's sitting down to listen to the songs about how much he cares yeah. about you kind I, of thing. Yeah. No, I, well, you know, I don't I, know because my dad has always been like a very like I love you dad you know yeah, yeah. yeah. no I may have just been a uh, bit of a rough on the outside forklift cowboy most <laughs> of my life maybe I could have shared my feelings with you more often but I want you to know this is how I feel <laughs> like he does a that fresh kind of, pair of <laughs> daisy dudes he does that kind of shit dude. <laughs> cool dad <Thank laughs> and you. I'm like alright yeah and he's like what do you think about that and I'm always like pretty good <laughs> you know Wow. <laughs> and your dad's like, this is the most special moment of my entire yeah. life. And I was just like, my dad's kind of gay. Yeah. <laughs> I finally found a way to communicate my feelings to my son. I can die. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm just like, hell yeah. That nice, is kind of beat, dad. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of fucking whack. <laughs> so, yo, you've listened to this shit? Dude, turn this <laughs> off. Dad, cringe. Turn this come off, on, dude. <laughs> The windows are down. Stop embarrassing <laughs> Seriously, me, come on. See, no, don't turn it up. Please. Oh. And you're like putting your fingers in your ear so people at like bus stops <laughs> yeah. don't think you're enjoying like a, No. <laughs> I hold up a help me sign to the back of the bus. Wow. Yeah, me and my lame dad. Not my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Alex, did you wait? Did I ask you? Did your dad? So, I mean, my dad's like, he's always kind of been the same guy. Like, he's he was into American Chopper. The two that I mentioned, he liked Ice Road Truckers. He liked um, the Deadliest Catch. Deadliest Catch. He's a fisherman his whole life, though. So, I give Ooh, him a pass on that. Like, man. he's always been a fisherman, it's always mm -hmm. been his thing. It doesn't count as a midlife crisis. No. His true midlife crisis. Let me preface this, by the way, with like my dad is the kind of guy who never he never wears gloves in the winter because it's gay. Like sick, like one okay. of those kind of guys. Right. I'm locked in. My dad's midlife crisis in like between like 97 and like, oh, two, I want to say was. A resurgence in his fitness through rollerblading. <laughs> <Which, laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> He really went for it, dude. And it was like a daily thing when the weather was nice enough. Dad was going out for like an hour to rollerblade around. Jeez. He's like Hal from Malcolm <laughs> in the Middle. <laughs> Did he have the whole get up like the long like helmet and then the knee tight? pads? Yeah. yeah. He wore a helmet uh and i don't remember if he wore knee pads i know he th what ended this was a was a horrible fall that he took trying mm. to jump a curb <laughs> <laughs> where he like broke his wrist in like three places and never touched the things again <laughs> and he was like 52 at the time oh. like <laughs> that's so rough <laughs> I, that was my dad. I would have executed. I would have executed him like an injured uh, horse. <laughs> sorry, boys. I can't go on the boat this weekend. I hurt myself roller skating. Dude, the fact I was too young to realize how like I had to rack my brains for this because I was five when he when he broke. I guess maybe I was like seven when he broke his wrist and ended it. But looking back, that was nuts, dude. Yeah. It was nuts. My mom let it happen. She's like, bye, babe. You said roller blades, not Ro skates, Roller right? blades, like in line. For fitness. Okay. Yeah, for, for fitness. fitness <laughs> like instead of going for a jog, Damn. it was like, I'm going to do roller blading instead. Fitness dick in his ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> but he won't wear gloves. When it's negative 10 degrees outside. Yeah, he only wears those fingerless pads for roller blading. <laughs> Dad, why are you still getting the CCM catalog? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I got my own a fresh pair of co-hosts. <laughs> Damn, did, could he do any? Could he skate backwards? I I don't. No, you were too young. He Sorry. was forty six years old when I was born, and this right, started man. when I was like three. So he was. This is like midlife crisis stuff. Yeah. But I have to assume he must have gotten pretty good. He couldn't jump a curb. 
<laughs> what a crash and burn, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. I just... How bad was the recovery? Can you remember a period with your dad in like an arm cast or anything? Yeah, so the the break was really bad. Like it was like a, a night in my life that I remember like him coming home and them having to rush to the hospital. Like like turmoil in the household because he's in too much pain to care about her feelings kind of thing. Like, <laughs> and they left me home with my very old grandmother for a, for a she long time. She must have been a hundred years old. Yeah, when they were like, yeah, she was so old. <laughs> She Roller, went, what? <laughs> Blades, Grandma. They're like skates, but the wheels are all in a line okay. and you can grind. She lived to 99, so she was literally in her late 80s at this point. Uh, and I had no understanding at the time. I of told like, you to stay off those damn roller majigs. <laughs> roller blades. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I had no, oh, I had no. no understanding of the time that like it was going to be like my mom being like I got to take daddy to the doctor and then being gone for like nine hours while they're at the ER and they're setting his yeah. wrist and he comes home in a cast and it was, just, it was I and remember physical the whole thing. therapy yeah PT the whole yeah the whole thing wow <laughs> and he never he never even considered he actually talks shit about rollerblades now you'll break <laughs> you'll break your ass though. on those like things. they're gay or you'll or break not your, safe no you'll break your ass on those things so they're i'm not gay, safe yeah, yeah. <laughs> rollerblades yeah. are too extreme yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i gleamed the cube dude it's not <laughs> what you think <laughs> you know it's fucked up is that like so this this story is rests in my memory to this day so it was obviously like impacted me in a way right and and so his thing was always like when I wanted to rollerblade eventually as like a nine year old girl does. He's no like, daughter of mine. Don't you dare, <laughs> don't you dare of. come in here with blades on your feet, I swear to God. <laughs> I'd like to be a rollerblader like my daddy before me. I'm like, I'm not like you, Dad. <laughs> I'm nothing like you. <laughs> <laughs> they're quietly rollerblading in your room in the middle of the night. Alexandra, where were you? You better not have been at Models. <laughs> I told them. I found a plate against sports receipt in your room. Do you have something you want to tell me? So, now be honest. So when I when I pick this up a little later in life, he's like, "Do me a favor. No matter what, you always gotta weigh your risk cards." <laughs> My dad's from Brooklyn. Oh God! Like, Every new detail. Really important <laughs> to be we- to be wearing the wrist guards, knee pads, the whole fucking thing. I which mean, is obviously like the least cool thing an eleven year old could possibly want to do like be seen in pads by her peers please yep. are you crazy oh, if the neighbors yep. aren't wearing them i'm not wearing them pretty mm. much oh god so one day while he's in his house sh- trading stocks on the internet just like hanging out i meet up with the neighbors ditch all the wrist pads <sighs> and the na- one neighbor is picking up na- mail for another neighbor for the week and lazily asks me to rollerblade in and get the mail for her and they have like a like a driveway made of bricks like it's like all it's like a cobblestone oh, driveway. but you're so excited to be given a task that only rollerblades can handle yeah. <laughs> you're imagining a life where you're like a rollerblade courier like yeah i could go i could do, i could go pro yes i could, <laughs> I could do jet grind yeah, radio I really real make money life. off of this you know man when so i tell you, you bricks. i ate shit and broke my wrist that day no! and then <laughs> <laughs> That's self fulfilling prophecy. Your dad wished that on you. Pretend that I pretended that I was fine for the longest amount of time possible, <laughs> and my parents took me to a diner for dinner that night, and I ordered a burger, and I my little hands I couldn't fucking pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be like, okay, the jig's up. I think this thing's broken. <laughs> yeah, this is flashing red, and lightning bolts are coming out of it. I think I we should probably get this taken care of. Yeah. Wow, dude. He was so upset. Whoa. He was so oh upset. <laughs> wow. Dude, I Damn. just, I, I mean, the I one thing he I'm all struck. You to do. So I'm all yeah, struck no. by every childhood story you tell me. I get stuck <laughs> in it. It's just phenomenal stuff. That's it. So the, yeah, the roller, we're off rollerblades. My oh, family. Man. I just watched um, 1883, where the daughter was trying to be like the dad who was a cowboy, and the mother hated it, and they just <laughs> argued constantly. So I was just picturing your dad and your mom in the doorway watching you, like with a cast in your arm, just like. I told you she'd be just like you. And he's just like, yep. I don't know if that's the worst thing. <laughs> mm, that's what, that's what, wow. Dang. Dang. Wow. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> I got okay. I got I got one right here for you. Um, um, Freeman on Patreon said, "My dad is currently in an Elvis phase." Nice. <laughs> Respect. Picturing That's this in, in Morgan Freeman's voice. <laughs> <laughs> it all started a few <laughs> years ago when, when he went to an Elvis impersonator contest. Mm-hmm. He started to attempt pompadours and big sunglasses at family gatherings. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, hold on. I'm not done. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> hold on a second. Hold on a second. No, so, all right, so paint yourself a picture of that guy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he also has Parkinson's pretty bad. Oh. <laughs> so he's not <laughs> doing much hip gyrating. Oh. <laughs> No, but he takes the oh. hip gyrating to another level. Yeah, dude. he's gyrating all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I learned this from a boy named Forrest Gump. <laughs> Honestly, the pinky's probably going crazy. Yeah. Dude, he missed the era of casually impersonating Elvis by like 40 years. That's crazy. <laughs> and he's crippled by shakes the whole time. Damn, so was uh, Elvis, th- dude. Th- 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 thank you very much. Oh, <laughs> man. I want to know where he's from so bad. So, okay. that's, oh. that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. I So I uh, I knew a girl in high school, and her dad um, at family gatherings, there was a lot of photos of this in her house, and I saw this once. At family gatherings, gatherings her dad and I think either her uncle or family friends they would do the Blues Brothers, and they would dress Damn. like the Blues Brothers. Oh, and, Damn, and, the soul man. And dude. lip sync, I'm a soul man. <laughs> <laughs> and do like a shitty old man Blues Brothers oh, dance. Sh- and everyone would have to stop the party and watch them. Oh, my God, <laughs> It's like dude. having little kids who need to perform for you. It's like, yeah, that's it's crazy like, that you thought we would like this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the time for this. <laughs> Yo, and they thought it was the coolest shit. Yeah. They weren't doing it like, wow, look how silly we were there. Just like, imagine being as cool as a Blues Brother. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> <laughs> Damn, I've never been more thankful for my dad. <laughs> I can't stand He's the mandatory. Out of my life if this happens, the uh, mandatory party performances. If you're that kind of guy, it's you, like unless everybody's begging for it, which let's face it, they never are. Ever no one's, ever, no one's ever been even receptive to a backyard bar uh, like party performance. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. When a bride performs on her wedding day, it sucks. Ooh. When any of the, all of that sucks, dude. <laughs> Stop performing at the party that you invited me to. I'm trying to enjoy the food and have a nice time. Have you ever seen that in real life? Have you ever seen a bride perform in real life? I've seen a choreographed first dance that gave me those vibes, but it wasn't quite that. Yeah. But no, I have I've not I'm being had greedy. The... I want that specifically right now. But I know I dude I knew a, I knew so um, when I first started dating Mary Jo she was living at her sister's house which was in a f- faux riche uh, McMansion cul-de-sac in New Jersey okay and so I, I would go see Mary Jo all the time and I spent I spent a ton of time in this cul-de-sac and I got to know these people pretty well and I got invited to like barbecues and stuff and I lived in Kensington at the time so I was like yeah dude I'll get me out get me out of the neighborhood I'd love to go hang out in a backyard wow and the first one I went to was pretty jarring because there was a a uh, uh, stop the uh, hold on stop the barbecue moment and one of them had like a kind of chubby girl cousin who sang how do I live with a acapella nah. all the way through nah. no I've that's really bad all the way through that's really bad and it's bad in that context but I will raise you one where that girl who you don't really know like at all comes into your life and needs to sing to you one on one, which I've been in that situation. Ooh. I was working at like a like um a smoke shop, a neighborhood smoke shop in my parents' town, and this one very lonely girl, a couple years younger than me, just had like no place to go and would come all the time. Mm. To the point where I'm like trying wait, to get she, like wait, was she an employee there or just a customer? No, a customer. Okay. And it's getting to the point where it's like, I like you and it's cool when we spend time together, but it would also be really nice if like the store was empty sometimes. <laughs> like Kind of thing. And one time, just locked alone, the two of us, she said, I'm a really good singer. And I was like, that's cool. I can't really sing at all. And she was like, do you want to hear me sing? And I was like, I guess we're doing this. Did you did you think it and agonize for a microsecond, for a microsecond. about saying, of course not? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's like, nothing I want less right now. Socially, that's a nuts thing to say to me. We <laughs> barely know each other. I've had this job for two months. Yeah. You're my customer. Um, but yeah. I know you by nickname only, and we've never been on the same side of a counter before. <laughs> Dude, and I let her sing to me, and she went with 
Someone Like You by Adele, which is such an intense song. <laughs> and I just remember not knowing what to do with my hands. During the performance? During the performance, being like, do I... <laughs> Cross my arms. Elbows How do the... I take? I couldn't take it. Uh, you, I became, just, you know what you were trying to resist was the urge to cover your ears. <laughs> <laughs> no, do something else. <laughs> um, <laughs> my entire body felt like a place that I just didn't even want anymore. I was like, can I? Can it? Can I faint? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Alex, unfortunately, I think you give off that vibe. <laughs> yeah. Where I think, like, if I was going to do that with anyone I knew, I'd be like, hey, Alex, yeah. I got something for yeah. you. What do you think of that? You'd be the first person I'd talk to yeah. about it. If I picked up a hula hoop at a party and I got a little bit nasty with it, I'd be like, I got to go show Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I would welcome all of this, by the way. It was, it's a stranger's interaction, sure. and the singing thing is really tough. And when you're like... Well, how, wait, how did she do? She, it, it wasn't great. It, it wasn't... <laughs> It was like, you know, average American Idol person who gets a no, but you don't really have much to say about it after. Oh, and she's just never done it around another person. Yeah, I guess. She's just been like crushing her parents' basement with it. <laughs> <laughs> Black lights. And her dog's and she's going at like, home. Damn, I think I'm fucking hitting it right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She's like, wow, it sounds different when I don't hear the water heater <laughs> kicking on. <laughs> yeah, I would have preferred to be at a barbecue where at least I could look around and be like, this is nuts. Yeah, you make <laughs> eye contact with somebody. Yeah, yeah. but I don't know. I, now, I'm trapped in a smoke shop. I, let's see if this makes a difference. How hard was she going for it? Because I'm talking about eyes closed, eyes closed. like pain I was just face. Say, starting off, very first words, I would say she crossed her arms because she was uncomfortable a little and she went, I <laughs> That you and I could hear that she's nervous in her voice. Settle down, that you. And then she looks at me, and I'm like, No, don't open she's your like, eyes. I'm in. I'm on it. Here we go. <laughs> Please, whatever you do, I was hoping they would stay closed. <laughs> so now you have to close yours. And then and as you're the perform- checking to see if she's closed hers again, so you can open them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and as the performance goes on, the arms are going out. Settle down and <laughs> someone like you. <laughs> and then you wonder if she's gonna do the whole song, which thank God she didn't, but it felt no. like it. Did, like, did she pick? Did she pick a good spot to end, or was she just kind of fizzling out? No, she picked a spot. I. She knew that she needed to end after the first. Did she find chorus. a crescendo at least before then? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a whole experience. It was like beginning to end. I had to sit there and do the thing with her. It was fucking nuts. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's like being a doula. Yeah. <laughs> it felt very much like that. Man, this whole thing is awkward, but I have to give you nothing but support at the end. Because <laughs> I don't know what you're capable of. Damn. Wow. Jesus. I have, um, I had, uh, this was actually also, this was Mary Jo's family. There were two members of her. I don't know if I've told this complete story before, but there was two members of Mary Jo's family who, um, at gatherings, it was her, her slight, her overweight. Um, let me see, her cousin's husband, who was like in his forties and fat. Okay. And it was their, um, and I'm gonna try to phrase this, their party girl, friend of the family that they everyone called their aunt. She wasn't okay. actually related, but but long, she her long time. Into the family history with her sort yeah. of <clears throat> yeah she's been around forever okay um and so they're of like similar age and their thing at family part uh yeah basically the um family was connected to a catering call so there was always a microphone and a pa at their gatherings and they would sing paradise by the dash or board light together as a duet and all the way through they would do the entire paradise by the dashboard light with the backing track including the the baseball teenagers fucking part that's pretty impressive <laughs> well you get the I don't baseball think I part <laughs> yeah i don't know if i know the song oh is the God. problem here okay. Okay. It's cold, yeah lonely. okay can we can we pause the show so that we can listen to paradise by the dashboard light all the way through real quick <laughs> okay can you all right you, actually oh i'm sorry just keep it rolling and then we'll cut this out later but i think i think i need someone to sit here and hear paradise by the dashboard light for the first time okay do we have six minutes <laughs> yeah we're yeah we're good i have all day too <laughs> <laughs> we want to take a quick second to thank our newest sponsor kush life kush life is the highest quality thca you can buy right now and they'll deliver it directly to your doorstep thca is fully legal in 45 plus states and has the same psychoactive effects as thc when heated so just about any way you consume it 
Kush Life doesn't sell that Delta 8 and Delta 9 junk either. Only the highest quality premium THCA cannabis. They have a great selection too. All the strains you know, Gelato, Runtz, Gary Payton, and more. The guys at Kush Life are working on a very special strain for everyone here at Good Boy and you guys out there. So stay tuned for special lines of Bud. Along with traditional Buds, check out their prices on Moon Rocks and ask them about Kush Soda, which is set to release this spring too. So support all the shows here and check out KushLifeStore.com. Use the promo code KUSHLIFE15 for 15% off your order with fast and discreet shipping. Try KushLifeStore.com once and you'll never go further than your mailbox for great cannabis again. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll skip ahead to... I'll, all right, I just no, you got to play the whole thing. It's like eight <laughs> minutes. <laughs> it's such a good song. I, I really like the song. But I need you to... I need you to uh, look. This is like 1980s? Uh, Me loaf, okay. Yeah, and you, you need to... I need you to picture... A, a brightly lit catering hall. Okay, I'm there. Where everyone kind of has just been waiting too long for the buffet. How are we dressed? Uh, s- spring time, uh, like East Easter nice. Okay, almost you nice. Know? Okay. And for the fat guy, that's like polo shirt that mm-hmm. he wouldn't dare tuck in. <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and the aunt is kind of showing off in the dress, and so and so you know the 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 cousin's wife is there. The um the party aunt her like husband or whatever is is there, and all of us and there's kids, and so this is the, this is this is the song that they're doing together. Okay. Oh boy, I see where we're going with this. And I got a girl looking any better than you did. <laughs> so when we at school today, we're wishing they were me that night. And you go, okay, this is mostly, you know. It is about kid fucking. There's, there's at least metaphor in this. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's not coming out and saying... He's not coming out and saying, like, yeah, I dipped it in this fucking bitch in the car. Though it's cold and lonely in the deep dark night. Actually, keep this in. Noah's just going to sing it. We'll drop the audio from the video. <laughs> okay. Lovely duet, right? Right. <laughs> Again, okay, implying stuff. Ain't not, no doubt about it. Maybe let me go on a shot. This almost has like a Sandlot vibe, yeah. as far as sex goes. You know, <laughs> there's an innocence to it. And then, so they do another. They do another verse of that. Let me skip ahead of it. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> now you're your fat middle aged cousin and party aunt are now now they're feeling themselves. You're four minutes into interrupting a family party. Someone There's a backing track that they're singing to, so this entire part's in there. The baseball call. They know all this? The, the sex moaning in the background. Yep. <laughs> Did I hurt Did you? Did I hurt you? <laughs> Did I hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop. Stop right there. And then it's right it goes into the third act. Now it's just kind of cool. So, so what I'm gathering is that 
everybody in the room is like keenly aware of the their significant others also being in the room and how fucking yes obviously yes. into each other these two are yeah even and if how it real is, this is for them because they had to do it yes it's like yo you sell insurance and I don't know what the fuck your job is it's like there's nothing in your heart that's burning to be able to perform paradise no, by the dashboard like, by like, virtue of the fact that you two are holding the microphones <laughs> like we have to look out dude, go, <laughs> going back to back for yeah. something <laughs> <laughs> the and sharing the dude, mic. It's eight minutes and twenty five seconds of that, and <laughs> everyone's furious. Dude, people are standing there with forks and knives in their hands, <laughs> furious. No matter what we feel, I know that you guys feel that the chemistry is great right now. So I'm worried for your others. <laughs> yes, yeah, and and that was a big part of it. the significant others were like, we need. Listen, <laughs> this can never happen again. Never. And then I was there for the night. The, my first like big family party with her family was the night that they did it again it happened for the again. first time. No, Oops. and ruined the party. <laughs> they like, went back. Uh, everyone was so mad at them. <laughs> everyone was so mad at and them. And you know they had they shared a couple of like like we little got it. elbow bumps with each other before the before the performance though like early party like eye contact. Are we doing it? We're gonna mm-hmm. do it. I oh yeah, I, I already talked to the DJ. I already We're talked gonna to him. We're going to do it. We're doing yeah, it. Yeah, I gave him 20 bucks. Not yet. Meatloaf yeah. and three. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Wait, they're not ready three. yet. Yeah, let's have a couple first. Let them get loosened up. Wait till dinner's almost mm. just about to yeah. be served. Wait till, a, <laughs> 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 yeah. Wait till a woman in a poorly fitting black tuxedo is about to take the lid off of turkey. Mm. And then. No, if they eat already, they'll be too tired. They won't even give it up. For us. Yeah. We need them to be hungry. Damn, so that's... Looking great. Thank you, thank you. I mean, your parents going through a a music impersonator phase is... uh, I think that's pretty cool. I like that. Elvis impersonator today, I would sit down and talk to him. The Parkinson's would throw me off. (laughs) The Elvis impersonation, not so much. Yeah, doing it now, after, you know, they've kind of dragged his name through the mud, you know? Now it's a bad look. Back then, it was just cool. I almost feel like now, you... You're really extra committed. You're more committed than anybody back then was. Now now it's like you put on the pompadour and you go, I know what you think about him. Yes. yes. The answer is yes, still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I admire that. Let's see. Um, There's a uh, local, or there was at least a local Elvis impersonator that my mama loved. Yeah. And would have him for all of our like events and for her birthdays and stuff. He'd come in and sing and he'd have the scarves. And his big thing is he'd have pre-signed scarves that he'd wear and throughout the night, he'd get sweaty and throw them at ladies wow. and then put on a different one and then get sweaty and throw it at a lady. This went on. I, I've, say, I've seen this guy maybe 12 times in my life. And they were signed to Elvis Presley. No, they were signed okay. They <laughs> were signed Jeff Crick. <laughs> <laughs> Father Jeff Crick. Jeff Crick, the Elvis impersonator. Nice. Um, there's a there's a prominent Rocky impersonator in Philly. I don't know if you guys have run into him. Really? Yeah, he makes like public appearances. He I've has seen a it. documentary. Does he? Yeah. What's it called? Uh, I don't know. It's on Prime. Uh, yeah, I've seen him at like amateur MMA events, and he doesn't really do anything. I don't know if these places like pay him to show up or if he just like needs to be seen out there. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. Um. He does like tours and everything. What does he do though? He, he kind of like does Rocky do stuff. The, does I don't do even know voice? if this is the guy. I don't know if this is the guy that I'm thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> there's multiple. No, there I'll multiple. say that this is probably the biggest one he got. No, that's fun. probably really. Him. No, I think that's him. <laughs> yeah, he he kind of just walks around dressed like Rocky from Rocky One, I guess. Oh, that's like, cool. dude, it's the saddest. No, it's shit. after he has the fedora. He wears the fedora. He wears fedora in Rocky yeah, One. Does he? No, it, he that's says it in look. the documentary. It's Rocky One. Okay, yeah, pr- Rocky Prime, <laughs> and, and uh, yeah, you'll see him just kicking around, and uh, pretty cool. <laughs> you know, what's, what's <laughs> good for him? <laughs> that's just got to be tough on the psyche of a of your offspring of your progeny. Yeah. For sure. Oh, uh, I've I had a bunch of people say that their parents got into Chris Angel phases. Nice. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is it me or are we going more toward, politically speaking, like more like a, that seems like a more liberal parent thing. Do you yeah. think? I yeah. do. I feel like conservative parents go more toward American Chopper, and maybe a liberal parent might. Hold on. This this is the Chris Angel Grand Canyon death jump that Dude, I think I love Chris Angel. Yeah. I already went through my Chris Angel face. Uh, that makes sense for you, Danny. I see it. 
Yeah, I mean, my midlife crisis, I might be doing illusions for my friends. I might, I might corner you one oh. time, Alex, and be like, <laughs> you gotta see this. Can you get into Chris Angel, though, without get like dressing like him? No. I don't know. Not no, at all. I don't think you could I'm really not gonna get... I'm do it. You can't get deep into Chris Angel without, like, trying to... F- figure stuff out for yourself you're you get into magic a little i think you have to get into magic yeah Yeah, but i think it's also like his his whole like dave navarro thing i think you see that and you go this is the only guy who's really seeing the everyone else is seeing the illusion he's seeing what's really there i mean you could have seen me go down this road oh my god that'd be sick i could please give me willy wonka hair don't let me get Willy Wonka hair in a fucking fancy you you don't want to see me with Willy. you'll never you'll (laughs) never yeah (laughs) there'll be signs (laughs) Yeah, uh, dude, I kind of want your your shit to involve Willy Wonka hair. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Come on, it's tough to pull off, but I, it's either Willy Wonka hair or bandana down to the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> it's the that's the two that's my two that's the forking path in my life. Oh, that is a wig too, isn't it? You can tell by the way it moves. Does he actually do it? Is part of being into Chris Angel watching way too much content for the trick to almost not even be in the video? Yeah, I mean, yeah. his later seasons, when he's not walking filler. around like Vegas, it's all filler. <laughs> That's nuts, dude. <laughs> he exploded the car and blew this dude's dad's mind. Dude, what an illusion. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. What was the point of this? He jumps the Can Am spider. Nice. It explodes. And now he's in this cage. Now he's in the cage under the helicopter. Yeah, I mean, fat ass I, dude. Guess, <laughs> I guess that is a solution to a problem that I haven't encountered yet. Man. Yeah, what if? Wow. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's better than like hard drugs, but it's got to be it's got to be <laughs> tough watching your dad try out different hats. Your dad trying to pull off hats socially. No, dude. That's got to be brutal. A fedora dad seems like the worst, dude. Um, I got some NASCAR dads. That's healthy. I like that. Um, oof. My dads were exposed when he received a false positive HIV test around the time I was... Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Yo. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's, I mean, I'm talking more about, like, uh, like T-shirts from Target. <laughs> nah. <Jesus Christ. laughs> not your dad being a turbo latino <laughs> <laughs> um ooh, i like this one reliving his navy navy days with submarine uh microsoft Whoa. dos game ms dos games yeah that, let me let me co-sign that one real quick um my stepdad got really into building model airplanes. Also, I thought he was just really into aviation. I later found out he was nearing the end of his run with cocaine. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, though he stopped snorting coat, he was very nostalgic when it came uh, time to get rid of his planes a decade later. Oh man! So you so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I'm like, I, those were the days. <laughs> Your it was wife a great time in them. my life. <laughs> you've got a very nice display case. You've got rare models. You go, they barely got a chance to fly this in World War II before it was decommissioned. And your wife is just like, I hate the goddamn cocaine planes. Oh, <laughs> Get them out. And you're like, I what? I stopped. I stopped doing drugs. She's like, it doesn't matter. Please, they're the only thing that bring me back to a better time in my life. <laughs> yeah, that's all this guy has. <laughs> wow. Oh, bro. Oh, what a bummer. Wow. You know. Um, for sure (laughs) uh let me see both my dad's um bio and step whom turned into best friends all right i'm I'm sure they're upon gay gay best friends went through a full year of getting really into fishing oh yeah they were fucking each other i like this for them not just general fishing but specifically for steelhead trout Hmm. Nice. Right. So they have to go on far away me? long camping trips into yeah. secluded streams. Is that what that is? Yeah. 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 Uh, you have to like go but out a delicious to fish. You have so. to go out to different like brooks in the middle of nowhere to catch them. They drug both of their families, which were four toddlers, my twelve year old self, and both wives long distances into the middle of nowhere to watch them drink a case of beer and get eaten alive by mosquitoes. 
I think over the year they collectively caught one fish before my stepmom said no more. It's not about the fish. Wow, so they brought the families along. This was some just boys being boys. Hmm. And sucking at it. Sucking at fishing? <laughs> Brutal. Fucking. <laughs> Not being bad at fishing. Yeah. Never me. Oh, <laughs> lame. Oh. Uh, Did anyone s- mention uh, HGTV dad? Because that's my dad. He got a hold Who of was... HGTV. Is that like, it's a, like it's a do it yourself sh- project? Okay. It's all I know like about HGTV. Yeah, it's well, all home renovation and, and like building. flopping, like flip or flop. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yep. Well, zombie house revival house hunters yeah uh drew montana told us yesterday that he um uh his dad got into uh what the fuck home makeovers mm. and he would like cry Extreme home makeover yeah he yeah. would cry when they moved the bus every week <laughs> <laughs> oh that rules Damn, imagine imagine like go like well i i got everything booked time for the big trip and then you fly somewhere, and then you drive four more hours, and then you make your family camp, which, by the way, kids hate camping. I hate to break it to everyone. They'll do it. They'll be good little soldiers about it. They fucking hate it. And you got them all there. The wives sound like they're not enjoying it. No. And, and you don't even you don't even reel anything in. I would just assume, I clearly would. I would have just been like, look, you guys can just fuck. You don't need me. Yeah, I don't need to fly somewhere. You guys can just get just it. Just have sex, please. Please, <laughs> take the guest room. Please. Yeah. <laughs> By, by God, yeah, remodel the guest room and then fuck in it, dude. No more of this. I don't care. <laughs> um, let me let me scroll us around here. Uh, my dad would take me and my brother to watch model planes be flown, talk to the guys, learn the hobby, go check out stores, but never pull the trigger. <gasps> oh, oh, oh no, oh. that sucks. <laughs> your dad, oh, your dad, your dad he got, sucks. <laughs> he got gun shy. Oh, he man. was time wasting model plane guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the lack of confidence uh, in your father. He was the vape. <laughs> he was the vape store girl. <laughs> Dude. Uh, so you're saying that's the B two? Nice. Um, you know I could really sing. <laughs> Do you want to hear it? Now, if it's a money thing, I think it's sweet. If y'all couldn't afford it, then like he just like he had a passion for something. But if he was just shying up, ooh. oh man. So he was he was. A pun- he was an airplane punisher Ugh, dude they were like why what do you fly he goes I haven't, mm-hmm. I haven't pulled the trigger myself yet I got these guys to take care of you know yeah, this we'd love you- to fly we'd love to fly <laughs> this is what you did at the hot air balloon festival <laughs> 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 Nah, uh they denied me I was ready to go up I was ready to I was ready true, to build a balloon true. <laughs> true I don't know if I told you guys this I got rejected by a uh, a hot air balloon mentor that's been bothering you, I assume. It's been since. really. It's, it was a big <laughs> blow <laughs> to the studio. It was a really. It was. It was a really tough. That's time. a bummer because I could see you having the best time ever in a hot air Stop, balloon, dude. I know. I know that you would fucking. I know. You'd thrive up there. We were gonna podcast from ten thousand feet. Oh my god, yeah. you guys would be thriving the, so hard. And I look. I could probably do something about the situation, but what happened was we talked to the we talked to a bunch of these people at the hot air balloon festival. Mostly boring folk, but nice and what an interesting hobby. And the one guy was a real freak, just a an odd ball, a, a crazy. He didn't do anything the way the rest. Like the hot air balloon crews are like very, very organized and like s- typically sponsored by someone with a lot of money. And this guy was just making balloons and dragging them out of the back of a van. Sick. And like he had these like volunteers who were just like I think retarded people from previous hot air balloon festivals. Okay. And I, he was so fascinating, and we we talked. He to had him. a real like cult leader vibe. Like yeah. he, his crew like really believed in him, and right. he was obviously like the outcast bad boy of the hot air balloon yeah. scene. <laughs> and, Sick. Yeah, and he told us, dude. He spoke to us. I thought we made a real connection, and I I got his email address, and I I sent him a message later on, and we we recorded a bunch of this, and I sent him a message. I sent him an email, and I said, hey. It was a real pleasure getting to uh, get some of your story. Uh, is there any way we could like come make a video about like wherever it is you make air, you know, your balloons and stuff like that? And I sent him um, field tripping, mm-hmm. and he got back to me and he said like, "Hey, I appreciate that you're trying to be funny, but I just I want you to know I don't want any part of this." And I was just like, "Okay." This was gonna be a, this was gonna be Good Boy's big project. Uh, yeah, we were so gassed yeah. up on it. it I was mean, like, uh, we talked to the ad lady about finding partnerships. Yeah, you we're guys like, were look, we got you a guys big were idea. About to put your Mr. Beast hats on and fucking. This was about do to be. A thing. A, yeah, <laughs> this was a multi-part series in our brain. Nice. Was, yeah. yeah. 
I was going to build a hot air balloon and we were going to fly it. I don't feel like that dream is still out of your grasp. I just feel like he's not our it's guy. Not, he's not, not your guy. He's but not he's our guy. The, but, he's but he so would be like, that's the problem. He w- and he you know perfect. what? I think one day he's going to fucking feel really bad when he sees you guys up there. I don't think <laughs> he so. We're 10 the feet higher than him yeah. looking down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, he didn't do baskets. It was oh, just yeah. a chair. Yeah, he had a chair what? attached to the bottom yeah. of the balloon. So it was. Yeah, what? he was the coolest. He <laughs> went on. He went up by himself every time. Or with or a did, bitch. Or did you take a, laps? He, uh, <laughs> he did ask girls to sit on his lap, but he had it was a two seater. He had two seater versions. Um, wow, that yeah. would scare me. I think I, I I think I like a basket. Thank you. I I know that it doesn't provide much of a cushion for me, but yeah, in my mind, it feels safer. Yeah, I mean, you know. Whatever that ship, that, I mean that 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 balloon has <laughs> flown. <laughs> they took off without us. You That's know? right. You're gonna find you're gonna find the hot air balloonist who's totally your vibe, dude. I know. Oh, we have vibe. a guy in mind too. Sick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got a young guy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's <laughs> all. And you know what? And throw that back into the closet. We don't need to think about that stuff right now. Um, Gay damn. stuff. My 60 year old dad got really into black political Twitter and what the hell is that? Schoon TV. No real visible signs of his trans- trans- transformation, but taking talking to him about politics made me realize it was just an elaborate disguise for some pretty well researched racism. Ooh. Yeah, that's what that sounds like. Oh, so he's watching like your Officer Tatum and your Candace Owens, and he's mm-hmm. going, "See," and they're saying it, and he's <laughs> up on what they're saying like yeah. all the time. He probably knows more <clears throat> about the murder of. Jam Master Jay than any other white boomer. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. Oh, well, God bless. I I say every old white guy should be so lucky to find one of the good ones online and then just obsess over everything they say. In a way, I, I judge your your dad's quirk on how like acceptable it is at the dinner table in a lot of ways, and that one I I probably couldn't put up with as easily. What do you mean? That's like that's Ra- a high you can't offender. Stand race realism. That's a high offender for me. Where if at the dinner table we're gonna have to talk about everything you saw on Twitter today, as opposed to like I would much rather talk about American Chopper and like this sick True. thing that got made. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, Dad. I also feel the same way. I don't care. Yeah, like on <laughs> yeah. the on the hierarchy of like Dad things, like that one. I'm like, Eesh. oh man, I it, hate when my it dad impacts talks about everybody. The, when my dad talks about the politics? Philadelphia city government, I'm just like, shut up. I don't want to hear politics from my parents at all because. I'm like he, they want me to agree with them too badly. Where I'm like, we can't. I can't sit here. I'll just. Ag- I'll agree for the sake of ending the conversation. And you go. Whoa, yeah, that is crazy. Y- yeah, you yeah. guys are right about everything. Dude. It, it is nuts that it's 13 percent of the population. I know. <laughs> I'm just. This chili's really good though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, preaching to the choir, but um. Yeah. Damn. My uh, let's see. Uh, how about this? My dad, was, who was 45 at the time, suddenly started listening to Madonna a lot yes. in the mid 90s. Craziest thing. Only lasted a couple of years. So he was listening to the worst Madonna. I support the mid 90s. Like, yeah. And I feel like I just got home. She was in her most spin class phase, I think. Yeah. And your dad went nice. I'm taking this as maybe in the mid '90s he started listening to Madonna as a whole. He okay. went through his Madonna phase. Yeah, which, which I'm a little more okay with. Um, I feel like, it's gay, yeah, but yeah, I think I remember my dad getting into shares. Um, <laughs> Do you believe no, was, he, was he going through like a divorce at the time? In a way. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, actually, kind of. (laughs) My dad will unironically bump anything that is in the soundtrack to Night at the Roxbury. Ooh, me too. Sorry. I've described that as important music to my children. (laughs) (laughs) My dad likes that. Anything like that, like Robin S. Yeah. I go, kids, you know Show Me Love is actually one of the best songs ever made? (laughs) So I fuck with that. Um, Yeah, listening to gay music is cool. Yeah, a little Um, bit. Yeah, we celebrate. I mean, you know what? To me, that sounds like a pretty good dad. If that's if if I'm telling you to scan your memory banks and we're making fun of them, and that's what you come up with, I go, wow, you you must have had a pretty good time with that guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's just dancing in the kitchen. Oh, here's a here's a uh, a more distinct one as well. My old man was really into pushing me to relive his glory days playing football, despite his inability to throw a ball due to him being slovenly obese. Mm. <laughs> You know, this one's a lot packed in there. Actually, that's like a whole family history. 
Yeah, and you know who you really have to feel for in this story? The mom. The kid's coaches. <laughs> the kid's coaches watching the fat dad show up to every practice, and then the out the outer edges of his souls are worn more than the inner edges. Yeah, and you he's know? he's at the end of the game fucking pissed off at them for making the wrong call and yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's screaming at the refs over your shoulder the whole time. Oh, yeah. Please, please stop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then and then God forbid his kid fucks up a play, you know? Silent ride. Where's the touch on that? Oh uh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Or an over defense of a not so impressive kid. Yeah. Like thinking that his child could do no wrong, he's gonna be the star. Either way is embarrassing as fuck. Ugh. That's big coach's kid mentality. Well it's I was like kids stink, but they're still like they're in it. I don't know what you do when you have fat parents. Uh, you know, I, f- I feel like that might be one of the, like I grew up, one of my parents was a drug addict. I think I had a better shot at life than a kid with fat parents. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, it's crazy to me. Most fat parents have fat kids, which I know is mostly genetic, but I feel like I would have rallied to not be the fat kid in the fat family. Yeah, I would that have, is a bad look. I would have rallied, dude. We would have arguments over dinner about how little I've eaten. <laughs> I'm, I promise you. That happened to me. They, they've, dude, they plumped me up. My parents weren't even fat. They plumped me up. I don't know if it was on purpose. I don't know if they were trying to keep me, like... <laughs> they slow you down. They are trying to put the governor on me. They made me fat as fuck, dude. They saw you trying to leave the hood. They were like, dude. guess what? Take care of your own breakfast. And it was like, well, uh, that cabinet full of pop tarts looks awesome <laughs> yeah <laughs> and no one's gonna tell me when to stop <laughs> eating them damn seems don't like let a, me, seems like a nine pop tart day I think. don't let me get snacks <laughs> yeah sorry you can't really oh he had a <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> he uh i forgot to read the second part of that oh, no, it was so he died in 2003 from a heart attack <laughs> and i couldn't give a shit about sports <laughs> <laughs> whoops yeah, I'm sorry about your loss, man. My, yeah. my bad. Yeah, I wish I got to that part sooner. <laughs> Maybe you should have been um, more vocal with your with your parents. I guess. Yeah, that is a real bummer to have to do the thing that your d- parents failed at. Yeah, and, and like be better at it than that when you're like, ugh. I put there but is it's a- not in our genes, Dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Clearly, this isn't for us. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, y- there is the healthy urge to have your ki- children uh, like surpass you. For sure. They but I think it's important important to like just know what they value. Like I was really into ballet as a kid and it's going to be really tough. Like I'm going to take her to ballet and hope she likes it, uh, my daughter. But it's going to be really tough to not, you know, to be like, well, if you don't like it, like, well, you can't we'll find quit. something else. Are you going to quit everything yeah. you ever like, do? <laughs> no, like let's find the thing that you like as much as I liked ballet. That's the only th- way to make this work, you yeah. know? Oh, uh, no. I would be like, well, let's try one more ballet school. <laughs> Maybe it's just this one that you don't like. Let's try one more. It was your coach. <laughs> it was your teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't say this out loud, but your teacher was a fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah, she was just mad that she never made it herself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's like just remember those that can't yeah, do you teach. Can't, you can't do that. That stuff. That stinks. I guess uh, who's doing it? You are. <laughs> here's one from uh, Melanie, who says, "My dad was a pussy who, <laughs> who." <laughs> <I know. laughs> Does it really start like that? God damn, Melanie. <laughs> Tell my, us how you really. Feel. My dad was a pussy. <laughs> but the first thing you need to know about my dad. Bitch. <laughs> oh fuck! Could never be me, Melanie. I'm sorry. God damn. Yeah. This is the <laughs> this is the lady that uh, noodles the catfish. <laughs> My dad was a pussy who wished he was as cool as he thought he was in college. Mm, college now, now, boy. Okay. Now, I know these guys. Now let's let's now before we before we read her uh, argument for this at all. Let let can we um just kind of um committee here Mm -hmm. on this girl's relationship with her dad Mm -hmm. first thing this adult woman tells you is my dad was a fucking pussy dude and he wasn't cool that's like (laughs) i think the worst like i will never be a dad but if i were a dad that's the worst thing i could hear from my daughter is that you're a pussy pussy. yeah what's what could be worse than that 
than Lucy know. telling you, Daddy, you're a fucking pussy. I do not respect you. I will say this to the fucking world at large, and I hope they talk about it on a podcast. Yeah, dude. True. And I'm and I'm trying to <clears throat> and I'm trying to both be funny, but also come up with an answer. And I can't think of something worse than that. Right? I can't think. I would say it's, uh, it's like it's been a failure. Shut it down. <laughs> like. Damn, it shows not only like a total fucking disrespect from your for your father, but like that you like he just like sucked so bad <laughs> that like <laughs> fuck him, dude. I mean, could you still love him though? Could you still love him? Yeah, for sure. I don't even think pussy means unlovable. Yeah, that's the, that's oh no, just you know what? Pussy. Right? Now, now, okay, and now, and I and I just redhead a little bit. I think we're being generous now. Okay. 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 So here's our argument. He wore those bandana tie back cap things. Is she describing a do rag? Yes. You, you know the motorcycle. Like a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A white guy do rag. Yeah. It's actually in the painting. Oh, yeah. It's amazing wow. how you. There's oh. a specific company that makes those. I Damn. forget it right now, but wow, yeah. you're really no you're really him. tuned in, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Okay, thank you. Got it. Noah, I'm impressed. <laughs> like, you know, you it's really every week. Every week he nails it. Sometimes you can see where the where where everything's going. Oh you know? shit. Um, he you're wore like an oracle. <laughs> fuck. He wore those bandana tie back cap things and would ask if I was bringing my quote. Friend with the parentheses gestures in big boobs motion with hands. Nice. Over, <laughs> oh, over anytime soon. Damn. So he would, so he would be dripped out, <laughs> stopping you in the hallway, saying like, "Hey, are you bringing over any of your big boob friends? Does oh. Daddy need milkies? Oh, <laughs> you shit. bringing any of the heifers over? I don't know. My mom's, my mom being the official state bicycle of Texas, really did a number on him. So he's." It's some wild what? shit he really shouldn't have. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. So your parents were like really open to like sexually harassing the family at large pretty much. I mean. <laughs> like it sounds like they were very sexual people who just didn't give a fuck about like respecting their kids by keeping that sh side of shit away from them. I, I think this is just maybe run of the mill white trash family. I guess that's from the, the way it, it works. We need to make a distinction. Okay. <laughs> was this mom being a slut? Was that a cause of a the divorce? dad becoming a pussy? Or was that part of her past that the dad was grappling with until the day that he took his own life? Probably. I'm thinking. <laughs> no, I, my wife was a slut when she was younger. No, I think that if this person, the, if the commenter here is putting it in the story, I think the, that the wife being a slut destroyed the family. That's I what I imagine. assumed. But yeah, this is she lives with her dad, which is crazy. <laughs> Whenever like you're in such a shitty situation, if a split happens and the yeah. parent is the dad. And you and go on to fucking publicly say he's a pussy. Yeah. Like you yeah, oh. what are the odds like that the mom was on cool? Young chicks. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, sister yeah. Melanie, our thoughts are with you. Yeah. That sucks, man. Yeah. That's a raw deal. <laughs> this yeah. is most women in my family what they're dealing with right now. Damn. Pussy. Yeah, this wow. is rough. Damn. My dad was a pussy. Cuts like a knife. <laughs> it really does. I've never heard those words in that order before, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. The darkest. She said she said was too, so I'm wondering if he you know, I don't Maybe he's a badass now. Maybe he's cool. So. Yeah, maybe he got cool. <laughs> he's really cool. <laughs> maybe <laughs> when he beat up his maybe fucking slut ex wife. Maybe he got some rollerblades and turned it around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, uh Danny's giving us a high sign. We have to take a break and go over to uh our Patreon to continue this uh, riveting discussion. That went so fast, dude. Yeah. I know. I and I hope I didn't waste too much of our time. I mean, I, I treasure every second that you have for it, Alex. Thank oh, you so this much. Rules. Um, I do have another weird video to show you guys when we get over there, and it involves um, Edward Furlong and dental surgery. Um, go to patreon.com slash Tim Butterly to uh, continue hanging with us. Um, we're all, there's also plenty of bonus content over there. There's a back catalog of, of cool streams. Um, we just put up a, a, a nearly three-hour bonus episode with John Del Calo where we built model rockets and then launched them. Um, May I say I have a cosmic love for you and this show, and it rules oh. so hard. And like, guys, if you're watching this, you're I like you guys too. Like, literally, yeah. if like, and if somebody out there was like, I'm a fan of Tim's show, I'd be like, we'll we'll probably be friends. Hell yeah, green oh, yeah. flag. Yeah, it's a green flag. <laughs> so, oh, I love you so much for doing this, and um, 
uh, yeah, hang, come come chill with us more. We're just getting started. Hell yeah. Um, also, come see me on the road, please. If you guys don't mind, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> March 28th and 29th, uh, uh, Connecticut and Boston. Uh, May 18th, I'm headlining Soul Jules, and I would really like for you to be there. Uh, I'm also doing Chris Wood's show, Oral Presentations, on May 11th in Philly. And um, I've got I've got more dates coming up around the country. Wisconsin, uh, Tacoma, Washington. I'll see you guys out there. It's timbutterly.com. Get uh, uh, tickets for this shit and come see us. Um, oh, yeah. Noah, give us a progress report. This is where we're at right now. This is Tim's dad. Wow. <laughs> As Paul wow. Senior. As a badass. As a badass motorcycle guy. Rules. Whoa. <laughs> Don't show him. <laughs> yeah. Don't show dude. him, dude. Dude, like, I'm going to send this to him afterwards. He's no. Gonna shit. I'm going to put him right back in it. It's going to be like the uh, badass version of Dorian Gray, and he's going to turn into the toughest guy <laughs> if he ever sees his <laughs> own, oh, no. his own This could be you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, do we have anything else to remind them of before we go over? Um, no, I think that's it. Just join us on Patreon. So much fun over there. Yeah, it's we don't have YouTube fucking us. I it's know. Just great. I got to do something it's about all, it. It's all it's all good times over there. I'm also uh, I'm back to um attempting to stream on Twitch. Now that every streaming platform has kind of uh, disillusioned me, I'm just saying whatever, and I'm just gonna do whatever feels right in the moment and go for broke. All right. So see you guys. Thank you. For, uh, let me just say thank you and goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>